viewers welcome back guys i hope you're having a great night by the time you're watching this it'll probably be wednesday uh we'll be releasing a tuesday night but yeah also my bed's kind of a mess i just took my towels out of the dryer so we're not going to talk about that right now i hope you guys have had been a great time i do apologize for the late coming of videos i have been like i said really busy with work i'm getting into school now so there's a lot going on so time management is going to become more of a struggle for me but i'll make it work today we're going to be reacting to madonna nothing really matters i'm your host logan also known as oof beat i have music on my channel spotify apple music anywhere just look up the word oof beat you'll find me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna go ahead and take a deep dive into it i'll probably watch it the first time uh and then re-watch it again to analyze it so yeah here we go Okay. The vibe is very off-putting. You know, it's creepy, but I've been watching a lot of paranormal stuff lately. Uh, there's this guy named Twin Paranormal I've been binging lately. Shout out to Twin Paranormal. They don't need my shout out. I mean, they're almost at a million subscribers, but this is kind of giving me that vibe. Yeah, that's really creepy. When I was very young, nothing really mattered to Okay. Making myself happy. I was the only one. She was the only one. Was she the only? Is Madonna an only child? By the way, I'm. I'm gonna just have y'all tell me in the comments. I'm not looking that up. Not because of me. Really well, I guess in a sense it is because of me now, because I'm getting more into Madonna. I'm giving her the viewership. Is, is, is that what she means? How things will never be the same because of her status? Not as she is known to be of the top in music. She will never be the same ever again. She will never be that same person she used to be when she was younger. Is that what she's talking about? Maybe I'm just even t diving too deep into it now. It's too early for that. We're not even a minute in. Think she's always given to someone always comes back to her. At my life. Okay, your life is great. Again, is that tying into you being an only child maybe i wonder if people who like have that only who who, who is an only child do y'all have that mindset of like that independent mindset like you're, you're just always convinced that you're like you're the only one because you was the only one there for yourself growing up i mean yeah family obviously but it's this is difference when you have like brothers and sisters around you know what i mean it's it's it's, it's dope it teaches you that social how to you know it teaches that social um I can't even fucking think right now. It's it's late. Fuck it. You get what I'm saying, though. It just teaches you how to be more social. So by the time you get around other people, you're ready at that status that you need to be in order to not feel uh, shy or anything like that. So social interaction. Yeah, that's true. I'm thinking that they're holding them things. The only thing I can think in my head is that they're holding water weight. I don't know. Like, I mean, it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I'm thinking water weight. Like, it must mean something. But Madonna always has these videos that just always means something. So it's hard to, like, think and listen at the same time. She dances like me after a few drinks and I don't know what the fuck is going on right here. I'll always be pausing at the weirdest parts imaginable. What the fuck is going on? What in the grudge is this? I'm kind of terrified, but oddly interested to see what's going to happen.
to make the darkness go like the light. Okay. Yeah. Imagine bro did that jump and there was no strings attached. Bro did the Saitama jump. I'm surprised he didn't go through the ceiling. So nothing really matters but love. I, I can feel that in a sense because it's like love is a thing to keep people going at the end of the day. I mean, if you know someone loves you, then I mean, that's really all you need to keep you just to make you feel good. You know what I mean? I don't really think anything materialistic such as, you know, I get it. We need housing. We need shelter and all that to live. But I don't think like anything fancy, like all the expensive clothing and whatnot. Like I can easily go to a thrift store and just get clothes. You know, I don't care that it's not expensive. Like. What does that show? <laughs> that shows nothing. It just shows you don't know what to do with your money. You got too much money. I really like this song. Nothing really matters. I really like this song. That was actually a nice one. This was a really good song. And just taking Madonna's span, uh, uh, just taking her perspective on how she's been making her music, when she's saying that nothing really matters, love is all we need, it brings kind of like, in my mind, uh, kind of like a race topic. Like, nothing really matters, especially skin tone wise as well. Like, we should all love each other, no matter how we look at the end of the day. I'm just taking that because I've been, you know, <laughs> being on this Madonna binge, binge, that's all I'm getting out of her, like, music. There's always something to do with race. There's always something to do with political stuff. It's just always something to do with it. But, I mean, she's always speaking truth at the end of the day, whether people hate it or love it. So, I honestly like this song. The music video is creepy. Makes me want to watch The Grudge, so 10 out of 10. And then the beat was on point. I was bopping the whole time, if y'all couldn't see. But... I, I like this song a lot. I want to kind of get into the comments and see what people else, uh, other, uh, thought about it. All right. So I don't think I see anything in the comments. I mean, other than calling her a living legend and whatnot. I don't think I see anything uh, that anyone can really say about the song that maybe had a deeper meaning. So what I'm going to do is go to the lovely wiki. Nothing Really Matters is a song by American singer Madonna for her seventh studio album, Ray of Light. Cool. I've seen that in the comments. It was written by Madonna, blah, 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 blah. This song remains Madonna's lowest entry on the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at number 93. Really? Slow chart peak was due to a lack of airplay and the delay in releasing in CD single formats, to which the singer's fans protested against Warner Brothers. I guess I'm not gonna read all this. I'm gonna read her whole biography. If you guys like this video, leave a like, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, help <laughs> recommend more songs or more artists of your uh, liking, I guess, and I'll be more than happy to check them out. I'm sorry again for the late posting. I'm trying to have Madonna Monday stay consistent, but it has not been consistent these past two weeks. So I'll try to make up for it and do something else for you. I also made a Patreon. I'm not going to put too much details or talk too much about it. That'll be where I'm going to start doing like uh, live streams and whatnot that I'll be able to post without having to cut them down for the Madonna stuff that y'all wanted me to watch. So I'll be giving out that information once I have some videos up. I just don't want you guys to subscribe to something that has nothing on there. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get that nice and cleaned up and give you the information in the next coming days or weeks. So stay tuned for that. All in all, I do hope you guys have a great rest of y'all's night. We'll talk later. And yeah, have a great day. Peace.